All right, well, I'm going to try and give a little demo here on Zoom using a Sharpie of the isometric and orthographic sketches that you have to do. So I've got my piece of paper here. I'm going to use this because it shows up better on screen. It doesn't erase. I only get one shot. You can use a pencil. So got my little sketchbook. So I'm going to start by just dividing the page into four. Three are going to be orthographic, one's going to be isometric. So I got my mug here and I'm looking at it. So I'm going to look directly at one side. That's going to be a side. I'm going to look at the front. I'm going to look at the top. And then I'm going to do an isometric, which is kind of like that in perspective. So you start with, um, start with the side. I'm going to go down here. I'm just going to kind of be light and loose. Kind of get the main idea of the mug down. I'm not being like super particular. I'm trying to get the shape of it. There's a little bump down here, so there's a little foot that I want to add, a little detail. I'm just kind of looking at what I see, make it like approximating it as best I can giving the idea of it so that if you have this sketch and you see the actual thing, you can probably recognize it. That's what we're going for. So now that I've got this little like scratchy thing going on right there, let's come back and do it like a little more time, go a little more slowly, smooth it out. Try and narrow in on those lines. Looking at my piece, making some observations. I also want to give like this uh, appearance that there's a tree. I'm not being super picky, not being overly detailed. I got my jams, I got the focus. So I've got the one view. For the top, I'm gonna look at it uh, kind of like that. The idea is that this is your side view and if it's the top, you just rotate your face over it and you can see the top, which is, in this case, we're also going to do this so like you can draw lines so that the dimensions and proportions are the same. These are guidelines that will help me make the same size drawing up here. So I know that this is where the lip is, or the uh, opening is between these two. Now I'm doing this super quick and rough. So I've got three circles here. This one is the totally inside. It's like, it's inside right there. And then this, this circle here is the rim here. 
And this is the base from my perspective, uh, this area, so the outside. If, if you can see that, I hope so. I'm just gonna do a little, little shame to distinguish. And now I'm gonna do the, that view, the front, or I guess, I guess it's like that. Same thing, I'm gonna draw lines across. You are absolutely welcome to use a ruler. That's totally fine. And I'm gonna look at the front, which is that. That's that nice same curve. But, uh, but this image should help inform that image. This image should help inform that image. So they're all connected. And there's a little decoration, um, a little bit of this paint brushwork on there as well. So I included that. These are your ortho this is your orthographic projection. So that should like tell you everything you need to know to make a 3D object. You should be able to tell exactly what it is. This one is gonna be the isometric one, and that's where you're gonna look at it. Rather than like that view, you're gonna do that view. So you get essentially equal portions of all three at the same time. So if you have it, you can divide it into kind of like that if you didn't if you made a, a cube. Do the cube, you have equal por portions of all, equal portions of all sides of the cube. I pause the music because it's commercial. I hate commercials. They irritate me to no end. So I'm just gonna do this quickly. Hopefully you can see it. This one, you do not need to use the lines as guides because it's a whole new thing. And rule number two says, do your best. It's not a drawing class, but you are sketching to get the, you know, the feeling of the mug, of the teapot, of the seagull, whatever it is that you are drawing. If you have a pencil, you can come back and erase lines. Um, or I'll reiterate that I'm doing it in Sharpie because it shows up better on camera. So it's a little easier for you to see as I do it. It's not gonna be the cleanest look, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that we understand the form of the piece, that we understand the 3D through the three dimensions of it. You are absolutely welcome to use shading. If you've taken foundations, you should have done some work with that. It was with uh, Mr. Heller or Ms. Sweeney or even Mr. Mazur last uh, semester. You've done some work with drawing. I'm sure you've drawn, you drew as a child. That's always fun. I'm enjoying my niece's drawings right now. She's a little over two.
and there is the finished product. I did it pretty quickly. I've had practice um, drawing. It might be a little longer. It might not. So long as we have the, the three and the isometric. Three orthographic projection drawings, one isometric sketch. That's what I'm looking for. Um, so I'm going to post this. Hope it helps. The editing is going to be a bit off. See ya.